Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you how to update the BIOS to the latest <coughs> version. Um, I did uh, some BIOS update with all the motherboard in the past, but this one is involve an extra step, so that's why I make this video. Um, here's the box this particular model is a, it's a budget motherboard but it's worked very well for the money uh, the model is H6182M2 um, this one is by the way is a version 1 it's printed on a motherboard so it's important uh, this one have two version uh, version 1 and version 2 It's a, it's a, I think like three, four years old motherboard, but uh, pretty good for the money. Let's try to focus here. What the feature of this one? Anyway, okay, this board is version one. Um, if you look at the board, the board you see this is the model, okay, and version one is the model is print right under the uh, the hissing of the uh, CPU, so it's. I couldn't, but you can. Hey, let me see. This over. Okay, you see it right here. Say one pono. That's one. See right there. See one pono right underneath. See the model, the model number and version one. That's that's how I know. It's important to know either your motherboard is version one or version two, because it have different uh, BIOS. Then you put up. Um, your computer and you press F2 or the lift key to go to the BIOS screen setup and you need to find out um, the uh, the version you have you see by the way today is 2015 so I bought this ball like you know like Three years ago, but I rarely use it, so that's why I never bother to upgrade the BIOS. So after that, I'm going to decide to do that. So you need to go to the chipset, press enter, and okay, you need to find out what your the BIOS version of your a motherboard so you went to the BIOS menu and you go to the chipset and you go to scroll down to ME configuration you press enter and this is the firmware you have by like mine uh, the ME firmware version is A021410 which is pretty old so in order to upgrade to the latest BIOS I have to go to the next version of this before I can go to the latest version so okay so I went to the um, ecs.com.tw uh, Taiwan um, and you can see <coughs> my BIOS is less than 8.1 so I have to go here Okay, and, and I'm going to Intel, so I click on this Intel platform here. So I have to upgrade this bio first before I can go any higher. So you see, this is the one I have X6, IH, X6, or 1S, or X6182. 
uh, M2 version 1 this is what I have so I click here and download the BIOS and the website you see let me show you the website here Can you see ECS.com of Taiwan um, extra Windows A support Intel okay okay so after I download this um, the BIOS the next one I have to go to the case open the computer case and find this ME unclock jumper and put a jumper to it before I can uh, upgrade so I'm going to do that the hard thing is to find that where this uh, jumbo is location of this place so I go back to the menu to find it okay here is, you see the ME that's one right there come on let me zoom in ME unlock Okay, and the case, the two, those two jumper are very close, so I have to find out which one is which. Okay, here's the motherboard, and um, where that location is, let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you look at that one, you see it's just right here. See ME unclock and the next one is a case it's right here. So they're talking about this. This one is the CMOS, the red one. The next to it, I believe, is the case, and the one above that, this one right here, is the ME unclock they're talking about. I had either this two right here, but I'm I'm pretty sure this is the one that, that's um, ME unlock chamber. So I'm going to try that one. Okay, here the chamber here. I'm going to put it on there. Okay, don't forget to turn off your computer. So that's what I did. So I'm going to put the chamber right here. All right, here we go. Here the chamber, the green one, I just put on, okay? So you can close it, you can see it. I, put, I try that one. I believe that's the other one. And I'm going to do that. So. Okay, I went to Windows, and I downloaded, you see the, the, the BIOS for the motherboard, motherboard, and this is the name the bio I download from the ECS website and I hit a bio so oh, by the way I, I'm running Windows 10 um, so you uh, right click it and you click on the run as administrator and you click yes to confirm okay and it doing an upgrade now if I don't it will give me an error if um, I didn't put the I didn't do the jumbo uh, um, if I don't put the jumbo correctly it will give an error but we'll see when I click on the upgrade when click yes Okay, so she doesn't give me an error. That means the jumpers I uh, I showed you guys earlier is the correct jumper. Otherwise, it would uh, it would give me an error right here. Okay, so look like the jumper didn't do correctly. So I'm going to try the order fairly check okay so 
the one I showed you guys were earlier was incorrect so I'm going to move to the other one because it gave me an error here so all right so back so this jumbo here look like it's the wrong one so I'm going to remove it and I'm gonna put the one next to it which is it have to be the right one Earlier, earlier I jumped this one. Now I'm going to jump the name, the one right next to the red one, which is the clear CMOS one. That's one there. Do that. All right. So here's again. That's one I put the one next to it. So it had to be the right one. Now let's boot it up and see what happened. Okay, I'm back. So I'm going to click right click and run as administrator. Click yes here. Okay, and you click on this one to upgrade. Okay, now you click. You want you can click yes, and let's see, it's gonna give me an error. All right then. So, so we look like everything looked good, and the computer shut down. Okay. So, I turn off my computer, and. I'm going to remove that jumbo there. Was it the one I put it on earlier? Uh, here's a jumbo. Okay, I remove it. And this CMOT here, we need to clear that. So I'm going to move, you see these three pins right here, one, two, three, right now we're going to move this jumper over this side and put it back to clear the BIOS. So. You guys see it's good, right? There's three pin red there, so I'm gonna put put over here. Jump the two pin. All right. So see, so I move from this location. I move to this one to clear it. Now I'm gonna take it out and put back original. 
So that's how you clear the BIOS. Alright, and put it back. Okay, now I could have turned the computer back on and see what happened. Okay, I turned the computer on now. Alright, let's see what's going on here. See more setting wrong, so that's what we expect to see. Let's follow the instruction from the website here. So after reboot, the screen should display CMOS setting wrong with it, right? Now press F2 or delete to enter the BIOS. Now when I press F2, you give me this screen here, and you see the dates were incorrect, so you need to go ahead and uh, change the dates is correct to like where it's supposed to be. Now before I change the dates, um, the instruction tell me to go to this screen here and you click on restore before and click yes and let me see if the date do I still have to change it? Yeah, I still have to change the date back to where it should be. Okay. By the way, you change the date by uh, pressing the either the plus or minus sign to uh, to increase or decrease the value. So I changed correct now. So I'm going to go to exit, save changes, and reset.